agency services they are a part of the banking they might not be classified into the core banking but yes they help in terms of working out as an ancillary function agency services are something that is going to help the customer today to perform and to take away the stress altogether banks will purchase and sell various securities they will help you in terms of covering up your dmat account altogether Good morning and welcome to the session 6 of unit 1 and we are going to talk about the agency services in the management of banking and insurance paper now in this subject in this topic very simple and a most important criteria here is that how does a bank try to function the agency services which are of utmost important and also one of the important sources of revenue for them so let's quickly go into the session and try to explore what is this agency services all about so moving forward when we talk about the agency services bank will perform certain agency services for their customers now when i say agency services they are a part of the banking they might not be classified into the core banking but yes they help in terms of working out as an ancillary function all together so starting with collection of checks and bills then making of the collecting payments and accepting bills remittance facilities when we talk about purchase and sale of shares reference letters and acting as trustees now if you look into the action of agency services these are not probably the ones which bank might concentrate its entire time and energy upon but then when you are having a large customer base and when the customer really trust upon you on the factors of doing banking worth crores of business definitely the customer will expect something more from the bank so the bank never says no to the customer in terms of its work in terms of its services that has been offered so that's where we are talking about the factor called as the agency services the agency services are very very important and these services will matter a lot in terms of the factor so let's just go ahead and see how each one of the services is going to be of a great importance moving forward the collection of checks for any bank you know that checkbook is one of the most important document that you can talk about so as you go here for example the collection of checks the drafts the bills of exchange on behalf of the customer the bank will work so what the bank will do is that it will collect the check credit the amount in their account which is one of the most important function and banker accepts all the standing arrangements and instructions that have been given by the customer so that the amount gets credited on that particular time the amount gets been paid to the open bills and all the other facilities that have been mentioned all together now the most important part here as an agency service then when we are talking about is that agency services are something that is going to help the customer today to perform and to take away the stress altogether when you are running a banking system you know that definitely customer has got a lot of thought process running in the mind when he walks into the bank his ideology his mental state is that can i have somebody who can help me out who can clear me out of the mess so already the bank tries to understand this factor and they come up with certain sort of small time help services that will help the customer that will actually aid the customer in terms of coming out of this problem so simple check collection process crediting it back into the account taking a standing instruction on when the bill needs to be paid when the emi needs to be paid when you have to remind the customer about the outstanding payment all these small allied services will definitely delight the customer so that is why agency services are considered to be a premier notch in terms of the customer relationship towards from the banker side now moving forward we are going to talk about making and collecting of payments now when we talk about the making and collecting of payments you need to understand banks undertake the payment of subscripts rent insurance premium all these factors are being taken by the bank from the customers account with their prior 
information with their prior approval altogether. Now, the role of a banker, which you need to understand very clearly, is that the banker will try to make the customer understand the importance of payment on a regular basis. Most of us do not go ahead and cheat the bank or forget our installments on a regular basis. It's not our intention at all. Any customer would definitely like to do business in a normal manner, in an ethical manner, rather in a most healthy manner as far as possible. But what happens when we are running the business or when we are getting seriously involved in the day-to-day -day activity automatically you get compressed, you get tied up with so much activities that you are not able to come up. You're not just able to see the process that have been happening. So you get completely tied up, you get completely boggled down and you need a person who can guide you through this process. So what happens here is that the bank comes forward, it takes up the agency services, it says, sir, on your behalf, I will make the payment for the premium, for the car insurance, for the rental, or for electricity bills, or for any other kind of miscellany or ancillary bills altogether, which will help the customer to reduce the burden. This is where bank tries out to become the friend of the customer, will try to accept the challenges and take it forward altogether. Now, moving forward, we also need to understand the transactions altogether. Transactions is a very, very big factor that we are talking about. The stock exchange transactions or starting up with any kind of transactions, banks will purchase and sell various securities. They will help you in terms of covering up your DMAT account altogether. Now, the DMAT account or whatever we are talking about is like, you know, when we are talking about buying out the shares of the company, you need a savings account through which this particular transaction can be done at any given point of time. So what does the bank typically try to do? The bank will try to understand that at a particular level, at a particular time, at a particular instance altogether, you need to help the customer in terms of buying the good shares, going in for IPOs, going in for the sale of shares, both it might be private or public sector companies. Let us help the customer in getting the financial transaction done. And that is where the banker really makes a very big help altogether. This is one of the most important process that I would say. Because today, a lot of people want to trade in the uh, stock and the share markets altogether. They want to buy quality stocks. They want to invest in mutual funds. They want to invest in derivatives and options. But you need a financial partner who can understand your investment needs, guide you forward and help you on a timely basis. And that's where the banker comes in picture and helps you in terms of doing the transactions in an orderly manner. Moving forward, we're also going to talk about the executory services. Now, when I use the word executory services, though the word looks very fancy, very big in terms of understanding, but then yes, the importance is also there. Banks act as executors of will, trustees, attorneys, and administrator. Now, why we call it is because they are the preserver of all the will, and after the particular incident takes place or any other factor, they would hand over the will or the custody to the bank. So as a trustee, they take care of the funds of the customer and as an attorney, it signs the transfer documents and forms all together. Now, what is very, very important here for us to understand is that when we are talking about the factor of will and matter, we need to understand that for any office, anything can happen at any point of time. So this is a very, very important statement that you need to understand. Business or human life are not permanent. At the same time, you cannot give up on hope and say that, yes, tomorrow I'm going to die. Let me shut down the business today. No, definitely not. You always need to trust upon a person. You always need to create that trustable factor on somebody whom you can rely and take up the business. So that's where a banker comes up and he says that, yes, I will act as an executory person, as a person who will take care of your funds, who will take care of your will, who will take care of all your documents and will transfer it to the concerned person at the end of your life, at the 
death of that customer. So that is where the bank will act as an executory, will act as a person who will stand as a backup, who will take care of the situation and go forward. And in case if there is going to be any untoward incident happening or any untoward situation coming into picture, definitely the bank is going to support and help the customer. Followed by with this, I would like to conclude upon this particular session. And this session is more about just understanding a very, very small part of the banking called as the emergency and the agency services. Why? Because in this session, we are only concerned about the allied factors, which is, of course, a part of the core banking. In the next session, we are going to talk about a very, very important concept, and that is going to be the role of the central banker, that is the RBI, which forms the main framework of the banking business. I hope and believe this session was of a great importance and of a great resource to you. In the next session, we will go ahead with RBI and the structural framework. Until then, stay tuned, stay blessed and stay enlightened forever. Thank you once again for joining me on this wonderful session.